today we are in Massachusetts at a Walgreens. We are going to be coding the York AC unit. What you want to do? Walk up to the unit and confirm our model serial number is correct. This is the label we would look for to find it. We'll also find shipping labels on the side that look like this that have the model and serial number on it too. After confirming the model and serial number, we want to check the unit for any damage. You can turn off the power to the unit to start working. Now that power is disconnected, we're removing the fan covers and any other obstructions so we can clean and cook the floor. After the fan covers are removed, you want by loosening the bolt on the fan. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's two. All you need to do is just untighten a little bit. Do not remove the screws so we can use them. And then pull up, and that exposes the coil, the inside of the coil, to be cleaned. Clean the unit. We use our pressure washer, siphon. Siphon the soap through the power washer for penetration, through the coil, and deep cleaning. When applying the soap, we hit both sides of each set of coils for optimal cleaning. This unit has been in service for only about eight months through the winter, so not a lot of pollen and dirt has been sucked into the coils, so it is pretty clean. After letting the soap work for a little bit in the coil, maybe five to 10 minutes, depending on how dirty the unit is. We're rinsing off with clean water, getting all the soap out of the coil the best we can. It's good to wash these units in one direction. That way you're not pushing soap back and forth through the coil. Because the water doesn't flow down, it only goes through. You want to make sure we're pushing a lot of water through there to get rid of the soap. As you can see, we're getting good penetration with the power washer, rinsing out all that soap one channel at a time. After we are done power washing and rinsing the coil out really well, we need the leaf blower to blow out the excess water. After the cleaner and rinsing of the coil, we add a neutralizing agent in case there's any leftover soap in the coil. This we do not rinse. 
after we do the cleaning, the rinsing, and neutralization. We'll reattach the fans and the covers. And we'll turn the unit back on so the unit can dry. Now that the coil is dry, we're gonna go ahead and coat it. So again, take the fans and cover off the top for access. After we turn the unit off, we'll go ahead and spray it.